The exchange of information in SNMP protocol can be done via polling or via traps. If you manage a network that operates on SNMP, you need to understand the difference between these two methods. I'm going to show you the difference between SNMP polling and SNMP traps. Hi, I'm Andrew from DPS. Welcome back. SNMP is a standard communications protocol in network monitoring systems. SNMP is based on the manager and agent model. You'll have a single manager. This is your central hub of information where all sorts of data gets collected. And then at various remote locations, you'll have SNMP agents. And we can have many. I'm just going to draw two with an ellipsis here. The job of an agent is to collect various pieces of information from out at their location. They might also report information they just get from within themselves, like little system alarms. And the job is to communicate back to the manager. That way, you can view all the information right there in your central information hub. The precise way that your SNMP manager and your agents talk to each other is traditionally via asynchronous SNMP trap messages, but some systems may use polled messaging instead. Let's look at what these two methods are and what makes them different from each other. Traditionally, SNMP is asynchronous. This means that your agents are going to send SNMP trap messages whenever something notable happens. But the manager is not going to be asking for information on any kind of predictable schedule. So if you get silence from an agent, you don't know if that means everything's OK, or it could mean one of these agents is offline and you have no way of knowing. This limitation is addressed in some other protocols and, more recently, some SNMP devices also use a polled method instead of sending traps. If you configure your SNMP system in this way, your agents will not be sending traps upward whenever something happens. Instead, they'll wait for a request from the manager that comes at regular intervals. This is called a polling loop and it involves your manager sending requests to your agent every 30 seconds or perhaps every minute. As you can see, this method trades some immediacy to gain some self-monitoring. If an agent is offline, it will fail to respond to the next poll, so you'll know that something's wrong. The bottom line here is that the difference between polling with GET requests and sending asynchronous SNMP traps is where the information exchange starts, at the manager or at the agent. So, between polled and traditional asynchronous SNMP, which is the best method? The answer is that they both have pros and cons. You have to decide based on your network and your operation. Polling lets you know when an agent is offline, but some alarms may wait for up to a full polling cycle before you know about them. Traps are immediate, but you may not know if a device is offline. You have to decide which benefit is more important for you. Be careful when buying SNMP gear, as many devices support only one method. Please remember, you can make use of both methods. Consider using SNMP traps, but also polling devices you haven't heard from in a while. If you choose a system that supports this hybrid style of SNMP, you'll be getting the best of both worlds. If you found this video helpful, please click the like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. Until next time, I wish you excellent network reliability.